Today I am working in Warwick and I have just managed to drop a track on the machine which is really annoying but it gives me the opportunity to show you how to fix one of the tracks when they fall off on the spider cherry picker. So come on let's get cracking on this job. Okay check this out this is a rather annoying problem that's happened I've dropped a track. As you can see um, this wheel should be in between these grooves here but I think it must have popped out when uh, climbing up one of the curbs now I'm gonna have to put it back in otherwise I run the risk of the whole track just falling off when I move out of here it could fall off in a in a not so good location as it stands at the minute this is quite a good location to fix a track so I'm gonna do that now the first thing we've got to do is expose the uh, the grease valve which is in just behind that little compartment there okay so we've opened this up and there we can expose this nut here that's a grease nipple but by un by loosening this bolt it releases all the grease that's in the well it's in like a piston and the, the piston expands the track. So by releasing all the grease, this wheel here, I'll show you this, this wheel here can slide that way, taking all the slack off the track so we can lift that back onto the wheel and then we can uh, put grease back into that grease nipple after tightening it, which will tighten the track again, putting it where it's supposed to be. So let's do that. I actually have a special spanner, socket spanner for this job, a dirty one. Um, unfortunately, this kind of thing does happen mm, often enough to warrant having its own tools to do the job when, when it happens. Okay, look at that. You see the grease starting to ooze out? That's because it's released the pressure. And now this wheel here and slide in that direction. After taking the grease nipple bolt out of the top here, it makes it a lot easier for me to push this down. See? of that and that's going to give me plenty more space to um, to get the track back back on I can just put that back on there tighten it up use some blue roll to uh, clean yourself but I can tighten this all here now There you go. By releasing the pressure on this wheel here, it's meant that I could hook the track back over. And all I've got to do now is squirt grease into that grease nipple, which is going to tighten everything up and uh, put this track back on tighter.
most difficult part of that job is always tightening the track up afterwards. <clears throat> it's quite awkward. Do if you haven't got a decent um, a decent grease gun, I could probably do with investing a bit more money in my grease gun. Do with something a bit better. But track's back on, and um, yeah, we're good to go again. I hope that you found that video useful. If you're ever in that situation where your track's fallen off and it helps, please drop us a comment. I'd love to know if it helps someone. Um, if you enjoyed the video, if you found it entertaining, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next job. Thanks for watching.